deny ya Make all the demons quiet yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah everyone to PXT uh, tonight we uh, god damn tonight's gonna be I'm not gonna lie to y'all tonight's probably gonna be a long one <laughs> and it's mainly because I have PTSD from tag team matches so just to let everyone know uh, we said it in the whole discord server we're gonna say it again here is that uh, what's gonna be happening is that tonight is the PXT bond match qualifying matches in other words eight teams have been selected have been randomly selected to compete tonight to see who will be in the bond match. Now, no, uh, that means each team is abyss ruled. So it could be a heel with a face in one team or double heels, double faces on one team that just never fucking interacted with each other at all. Or it could be former rivals <laughs> connected with each other. Now, I do also want to say one thing. We do have a couple of debuts tonight that will be happening. Um, one of them actually going to be in one of the bond matches or a couple of these debuts will be in the bond match or the bond match qualifiers. Let me correct myself. Um, then we do have the TikTok championship being defended here tonight. So uh, Jin will be defending the championship against the crime boss of BXT himself. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Satoshi Makoto was chosen to fight for the TikTok championship. So tonight it will be Jin against Satoshi Makoto later on tonight and then uh, Mox is having an open challenge here tonight I guess wanting to showcase that uh, he is going to give it his all at Bond but now the question is and this is the big one can he take down the likes of Mason Dixon because uh, honestly we haven't seen Mason for a while uh, Mason was supposed to compete tonight but um, he said that uh, as his champ as the champion, uh, he doesn't need to show up all the goddamn time. And I, uh, and I was like about to argue, but he was like, "No, nah, fuck you, bitch." Uh, in other words, he's <laughs> the title is tainting his mind. It's just like Electra. But um, also want to point that out. Uh, some returns tonight as well. So uh, yeah, the, a lot of a lot of shits going on. Actually, real quick, maybe I should check that because now thinking about it, I think some. Yeah, hold on, let me do that real quick. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So real quick, uh, checking some stuff because recently, um, on the past couple of episodes, when trying to do uh, PXT, a lot of the entrances have not been saving. So real quick, checking some entrances right now, seeing if they did save correctly. Okay, looks like they did. Um, because, I don't know, it, it'll be weird, like we see uh, Electro about out of nowhere just going <laughs> um, So I just wanted to check that out real quick But, uh, yeah Now, starting off the night with our very first tag team match This is not a Bond match qualifying Instead, this is actually a Besties sort of a <laughs> Come, uh, Coming together to take on two Oh god, how do I word that team? I have no idea. So, last week, Cornell went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Emma, uh, pretty much demolishing her. But in the middle of that no-disqualification match, Ava Moreno came out to try to disrupt Cornell in action. Now, though she failed, she still wanted more action, because before anything even started here at PXT, Ava did a full-on attack on Carnell. Alexia came out and threw Ava off her. Out of nowhere, Blackfire jumping off a fucking... <laughs> jumping off the top of the goddamn truck itself. Lands on uh, Jimenez. There was a full-on brawl. Again, out of nowhere, I have to come out and be like, bitches! And then again, I get sued because of it. But point is, I came out and was like, no, no, no! This shit ain't happening in the backstage! I already said this crap! So... Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, starting off PXT, it is the team of Carnell and Alexia Jimenez going against the team of Ava Moreno and Alice Blackfire. This is a strange ass setup, but you know what? I think it fucking works. <laughs> 
franchise that is uh that is very angry at me for a whole ehw thinking yes yeah, also want to point out uh if you guys want to check out uh live action in other words pvp action with 2k24 go check out ehw they have awesome content it's literally uh what was it i believe was it the last episode? It feels... I honestly don't even know how long it's been at this point. I think it was the last episode. Um, Shane, who competes there, betrayed death and actually <laughs> caused this whole ass thing. And it has been a fucking run. I, has it already been two weeks? I honestly don't know how long it's been. Because it feels... I don't feel like it was this past Friday. Or was it? Might have been. I don't know. Point is, though. Uh, go check EHW out. Honestly, I think, honestly, I've been watching this shit. It's been fun to watch. But with that said, let's jump in to our very first match for PXT. Oh shit! Murano Black! Okay! Okay! Already starting off for the fucking fight! Okay! No entrances! Awesome! Cool! God damn! God damn! <laughs> Looks like the ref's trying to get order here. <laughs> Jimenez and Carnell getting the shit rocked out of them. God damn. When? Uh, the HW is on Fridays. Usually uh, late time, around my time, 8. I believe for other people it would be around 9 p.m. So again, go check them out. Uh, their link is in the description of PXTs. Just heads up if you guys want to check them out. And Carnell taking out Ava, and now turns your attention to Blackfire! <laughs> what the fuck? Miranda not giving a shit! That practically launched Blackfire! Holy crap! I caused him a tile shot for the main tile, dropping our tag titles, and now have a match with him in a steel cage for his Bleed or Tap Championship. Yes, that's going to be happening this Friday at EHW. It will be Death going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Shane Henry. For that championship to so go check that out y'all this friday now that's it right now back to the action here carnell was going to, fucking giving hell to both ava and blackfire right now continuing to give it also want to point out that what the fuck uh okay i don't know if that's always been there but out of nowhere there's a. Uh, <laughs> Why is that there? Wait, am I in this match? I shouldn't be. Hold up, wait a minute. Uno mental, uno mental, uno mental, uno mental. I'm not in this match, am I? Shouldn't be. Am I? No. Yeah, I'm not in this match. Okay, that's weird. Uh, I gotta go through settings then, again, because for some reason, uh, it's showing the variety, like the stars. Oh, huh, that's weird. Yeah, well. We'll live with it. And right now we're looking at an Operation Rematch. Moreno against Jimenez. And Jimenez. Oh, god damn. I get another big kick straight to the skull. Jimenez not even wasting time. Now goes in for the tag on Carnell. Carnell coming in. Now I also want to point out, ladies and gentlemen, tonight is going to be <laughs> it's going to be a night because it is a full tag team show, practically almost. We have some single matches, but it's, it's for most varieties tag team. And now Cornell stalking Moreno. Moreno, I'm assuming not appreciating what happened last month to where Cornell introduced a chair into the equation and practically injured Moreno. Was, wait, was Cornell just challenging? I think Cornell was challenging Moreno to tag in Blackfire, and now... Oh my god, Cornell's... Feels like Cornell's fucking soloing at this point. Cornell stepping up her game from the past couple months, because goddamn Cornell has really been falling short on the competition here in BXT, but now it seems like... This new friendship with Jimenez has sparked something inside her. Oh, goddamn, big gut. Want to point out, Jimenez and Blackfire are going to be competing at Bond for the PXC Women's Championship. And right now, we're getting a little bit of a sneak peek of that. Is Blackfire going to use Sex Kick? I hope not in character. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Right now, Blackfire getting, <laughs> I hate to say it, but practically getting obliterated here. Now gets tossed in their corner. 
Jimenez. Tag again, Carnell. Right now, just God damn, flying the small lady just above her shit. Holy crap! And Cornell taunting away, and Blackfire. Oh my God! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my God! One, two, holy shit! Cornell's, dude, what the fuck? Cornell's fucking soloing at this point. Oh my God! Jimenez just jumps in, immediately gets him with the blaze kick. Oh my god! Right now, going for an outside dive! It connects! Oh my! What the fuck's going on, dude? Cornell fucking unlocking something inside her. Holy shit! Cornell stalking Moreno. Math, goddamn. We should read Kirsty. I don't think Cornell has any. I was trying over a top high risk maneuver from the top rope. Doesn't get it. Really gets smacked in the face. Blackfire. Goddamn, dude. Blackfire's just got obliterated by Jimenez on the outside. And Cornell getting Ava. Probably looking for some tag team action here. Let's see. Tags in Jimenez. Oh wait, what's it? Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh shit! <laughs> I think that would make more sense if it was like vice versa. But hey, it works. Meta starting away at Moreno. <laughs> Remembering how easily she disposed of Moreno at operation. And oh! Both women missing their big moves there. But Moreno looking to get the better exchange, but Jimenez not giving it to her. Moreno though, not giving up, goes in with her own. God damn! All that offense, and Jimenez didn't drop at all. Moreno trying to get Jimenez into the corner. Jimenez, though, fighting back. Not going to allow Moreno nor Blackfire to gain the upper hand. Uh oh. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, this is... Oh, no! Oh, Moreno! Reversing the maneuver! Oh, shit. Reversing the maneuver. Now tags in Blackfire. Blackfire's in, and now comes in with big kicks, looking to finally maybe drop Jimenez. Jimenez has yet to be dropped at this point, at least by strike moves. Oh shit! Beautiful maneuver right there from Blackfire, and oh oh god god damn! That was this twisting arm drag. Now goes with a pin on Jimenez. Only god damn, holy shit! She only gets a one. I guess she's young. She doesn't know yet. I mean, hey, look, man. Jimenez, Jimenez and her uncle have been telling her it's a fight. You do whatever it takes to win. And I think that's what Cornell is taking to heart because God damn. God fucking damn. She did not give a shit about Moreno. Now again, Moreno and Jimenez. And Moreno sends Jimenez over the top rope. And proceeds to tag in the number one contender for the women's championship. And Blackfire going! Oh, god damn. Perfect setup of Blackfire missing it, though. Now gets Sauce back in the ring. Jimenez, though, just. <sighs> oh, starting away. Blackfire, though, not taking things lightly. Immediately goes straight for Carnell. I think realizing maybe, maybe she's a big threat here. Oh, Moreno's out, and now it's Black. It's champion against contender. Jimenez saws back in the ring. It is now Jimenez and Blackfire. Both women missing their big moves. Oh, misses the kick. Jimenez gaining the advantage and goes in. Or Fisherman Suplex. Doesn't go for the pin straight after, though. Looks like Jimenez now tagging in Cornell. Cornell, goddamn, has been showing that she she has been training like a motherfucker here. And now goes for the pin. I don't think it's enough. I think Moreno realizes it too. That's why she didn't go in and try to save it. Blackfire is not going to win that title, in my opinion. Hey, I don't know. We've seen some crazy shit here in PXC. And I mean some crazy shit here. So there could be a shot that Blackfire shocks the whole fucking PXC universe right now. And again, sends oh Blackfire flying. 
Oh, what's your menace going for? I think this eyeing Blackfire going in for oh shoulder tackle drops Blackfire, and now you men oh god your menace no not to Moreno oh god and Moreno's out. Dude, it feels like Moreno gets stunned a lot in this. I don't know if it's because the tag team or what, but goddamn, she's been getting stunned like crazy. Oh, what's going on? Moreno in the corner. Blackfire's back up. Oh wait. Oh shit! Queens rolling! Goes with a pin! Oh, but Moreno is already in! <laughs> Got out of being dazed and saves it! Uh oh. Uh oh. Did that actually say Blackfire? No! Big splash! Middle rope! My god. And now proceeds to take Blackfire into the corner. Another tag. Big shot to the gut. Oh, now proceeds. Oh, I think she was trying to go for a sleeper. Didn't get it, though. Okay, I gotta go through the settings again because for some reason it's showing that. And I don't know why. Uh oh. Oh, shit! God damn! <laughs> she, she fucking just... God damn, dude. The disrespect to Blackfire. <laughs> now gets her up. Oh, shit. God, I, I don't know if we had a name for that move yet. And now, oh. Wait, really? Oh, I guess because she didn't come in, so that's why the debuff didn't activate on that one. Maybe that's what happened there. I'm not sure. Oh, God. Back straight to the face. Jimenez. Lenny Cornell possibly clean up. Possibly gonna look for her to clean up here. Now goes in. Oh, God. That was a blaze knee. That's what that was. And now goes with a pin. One, two, three. And Blackfire's been pinned by Carnell. God damn. Look at that, the besties <laughs> fucking just laying waste to not only the number one contender for the championship, but possibly another match happening at Bond, which is Cornell and Ava Moreno. God damn. Both women showing who the hell run the women's division right now. Right now it's Cornell and Jimenez. Holy shit. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, that shit was crazy. Holy fuck. Oh shit, a lot of crap changed. Okay. Uh, were they already enemies? What? <laughs> Wait, what? Were they already enemies? Okay. That's good. Um, so now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the first Bond qualifying match. Now, no, I will not reveal uh, the teams until the entrances happen. But uh, in all honesty, uh, th this is some crazy matchups. Uh, the reason I won't reveal it for the video is because the Discord server knows. So if you guys ever want like early access of knowing what's going to happen at Bond, the actual match cards and stuff, and stuff like that, we're going to start displaying that stuff on the Discord server in our announcements. Uh, so like for instance, we already displayed what teams are fighting what teams, uh, or really all the teams that are going to be competing. Uh, there's a lot of new names, so there's a lot of new uh, faces that are going to be shown tonight. And not just that, we are also, also going to be making another intro. Uh, so that's where tonight really helps out with that, because we're going to be making a whole new intro. Uh, we're going to get a new song and everything like that. And yeah, I think, I think it's going to be cool. Um, I just got to debate on which one we're doing. <laughs> of course you do. You know what? This cool. Da -da -da. I don't know what that means, but okay. Now time for our first Bond qualifying match. Ladies and gentlemen, we have signed Mexico's finest high flyer, Zero. I probably said that wrong. My accent can only go so far. 
He is he is something similar of what even Justin is. Well, Justin was a long time ago known as the legendary high flyer, but now you might be looking at the next generation of high flying right here with Zero. What the fuck? Should I be concerned what's being told in the chat right now? <laughs> I feel like I should be concerned what's happening in the chat right now. Justin Zero, team tag. That's an excellent question. I guess we'll have to wait and see, because no, these are abyss rules. In other words, every tag team is randomized. So it actually looks like it is the former BXT hardcore champion. It's Bill Cassidy. Well, this competition has a luchador now. Hey, 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 maybe. Because <laughs> I was going to say Justin's been there for a while, what the fuck? <laughs> Bill Cassidy coming up short last week against Shane Henry for the PXD Hardcore Championship to where I want to point out Satoshi was not happy about. Satoshi's a little bit livid because that was supposed to be the catalyst that launched the syndicate to controlling PXT. But right now, we got a first team. It's gonna be Ciro and one half of the syndicate, Bill Cassidy. I wonder what uh, Soshi thinks about this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like it's gonna be none other than Jack Flo coming in to the mix, looking to get into the Bond match next week. That's right, Bond is gonna be next Monday, y'all. Uh, God, I, that's gonna be a fucking crazy ass one. <laughs> I made you some girls for the female mission. I saw, in other words, we have a lot of new signees that are not gonna be debuting tonight because <laughs> we made the match card the, like Friday. <laughs> right now, Jack Flo, honestly, Flo, uh, oh my god, the Flo, yeah, the Flo did compete at uh, Operation. He did come up short, but could this be the starting of him rising to the top here at PXT? Because I want to point out here, this is how we're, this is how the bond match works. Whichever team is the last team standing in the bond match, those two competitors will fight in our next big show after that. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, I had to stop this shit real quick. And for some reason, he, he doesn't have lighting. But, Rocky, Rocky's back! And he's, wait, he's teaming up with Jack? You know, she real, she came up, short for tag dude. My mom! Sorry, that's all I thought of. Rocky Makano is back in PXT, and it looks like he's he's tag teaming with Jack Flo. So the question is, is, is there going to be tension? Because, uh, yeah. Last time uh, Rocky and Flo was in a match, it was, uh, it was a match that actually put Rocky on commission for a good month. Hey. I think, uh, I think some big tensions are about to come out here, y'all. God damn. You know, maybe Cassidy's gonna <laughs> work off some steam here, because they just think Shane's brother's in this match, though. So. Oh, but it looks like it's gonna be Sido starting off against Jack Flo. This is our first Bond match qualifiers. So again, want to point out, let me restart it. So, the last remaining team in the Bond match those two competitors will main event the next big show to where the winner will go against either or will go against the PXD champion or the YouTube champion. In other words, they get first pick. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens on that. Which I think everyone's probably going to go for the PXD championship. Let's be honest here. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to say the PXD championship, but I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens and who wins. Right now. Oh! 
beautiful crossbody from Seattle on Jack Flo. Goes for the pin immediately. Doesn't get it. Honestly, interesting way for a debut here tonight. Reason I say it's interesting is because really, uh, I believe Seattle would be Maybe, maybe a little bit more exceptional in one-on-one uh, -on -one matches, but hey, he said, fuck it, if I'm debuting, I'm going for that gold, baby. And this is the quickest opportunity to it. The only thing they gotta do is win the match to qualify for the Bond match. And as it'll... Oh, was trying to get Flo. Flo, though, not taking it. Flo, oh, trying to, I think, trying to go for a belly to belly. Doesn't get it. Oh, Will Barrel. Oh, god damn. It's a, god damn, a dirty ass kick. Oh, and tags on both teams. It's now Mikado and Bill Cassidy. Oh, shit, Bill. God damn, Bill. No. <laughs> Fucking shoulder tackling Rocky. And now, holy shit. Oh, god damn. Oh, this is Rocky like he's nothing. And it looks like Cassidy had fun with that. And now proceeds to do it once again. And now tags in Zero. Zero's in. And now goes in for a big clothesline. Zero not holding anything back right now. God damn. No, no. I think last time we saw Rocky in tag team action was actually an operation where him and Mox reunited. Possibly maybe one time only. I don't know. But reunited. Try going for the tag titles. Came up short. And now Rocky is in this match because here, here's this crazy thing there's somehow some way mox wins the pxd world heavyweight championship and rocky somehow wins not just the bond match oh this is the big frog splash not just the bond match but wins the one-on-one -on -one with flow we could be seeing a war in the team of the wolf pack all right rocky tags in flow why are Flo and Rocky tagging? And anyone else, like I said, it is full on randomized. We could be seeing, we're gonna be seeing either rivals, we're gonna be seeing, hell, who knows, maybe family against each other? I don't know. That's a lie, I do know, but I'm not gonna reveal it now. Zero, goddamn, Zero seems out. Cassidy, how do you look at, oh my god, no, 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 not inverted, Alabama, oh my god! God damn, dude, Cassidy just seems like he's way more brutal this year. Ooh, big elbow. I also want to point out, um, after, not Bond, but after the big show after Bond, uh, we will actually be hitting one year of PXT, which uh, that's... God, I, I'm still amazed. One, how far PXT has grown, but then two, I'm amazed we made it to a year. <laughs> In all honesty with y'all. Right now, oh God. Big punch in the head. Right now, Cassidy looking to take Rocky out of commission and make it a one on, or two on one in this case. So right now, God damn, Cassidy fucking cleaning house at this point. Ooh, they got shot from Flo. Right now, the odds are seeming more in Ziddles and Cassidy's favor in this match. Rocky's getting up. Cassidy looking to take Rocky again out of commission. But Ziddles out too, so now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Flo against Cassidy. Oh, gets got a big springboard drop kick. Oh, trying to get him up. Oh, now attacking the arm. Looking to just work on the arm as much as possible take away the big fucking god the big fucking power up also anyone else notice that they both don't like shane maybe well i don't know because here's the thing i think flo has a small love for shane because here's the thing after shane got this oh my god big spine buster from flo after he lost to electro Flo next week challenged Electrobe and then, uh, you know, just just kick, kicked his ass. <laughs> so there might be some small, small family love with it. Oh shit! Oh, oh my god, what's up? What is up with fucking Flo's arm? Oh my god, what is actually what? what? <laughs> that that zoom in did not help that move. <laughs> that zoom in did not help that move. Cassidy rolling out real quick. Now Mikado is in. 
Oh, Cassidy though with a big shoulder tackle to Mercado. Holy shit. Cassidy saying fuck it and now tagging in Zero. Zero's back in. Big chops. Rocky though, not taking it. But it is Zero with a Spanish fly suplex. Now goes with a pin. Here it is. One, two, no. Doesn't get it. I don't know what that was. Oh, Cassidy playing dirty. I was trying to go for a gut shot. Didn't get it. Zero reversing. Now gets a headlock. And now goes in. Oh, God. Big Maneuver is pissing off McCall a little bit. But gets caught in Springboard cross body. Here it is. For the win. One, two. No. Rocky kicks out. Fair point. It's slightly there. Uh, close there. He pretty much, yeah. I, I feel like the love for... Oh, God, is that frog splash? Oh, no. His knees didn't like buckle right. Oh, I think Cassie was trying to save it, but Flo, being the slimy little bastard that he is, saves the match. Big kick to the back. Azito. Rocky. Really wanting this win. Because who knows? Like I said, if somehow Mox wins at Bond, we could be seeing a war between Wolfpack. Or war in Wolfpack. Let me correct myself. Oh. Flow going under and over and now oh god damn oh god that was a Spanish fly but no this practically flips Zero. Oh shit. Gets Flow in a big gut shot and that dropped Flow I want to point out. And now the big man's back in. Flow was try I guess Flow was trying to fucking flip Cassidy. That's a bad thing. And Cassidy's got him up oh god. Snake eyes into the corner. Oh my god, dude, Cassidy. Holy shit. Cassidy has turned into a behemoth this year, guys. Because holy crap. He is just not holding anything back now. He's damaging the back of Flo and now looks proceed to damage the arm. Possibly making his uh, grasp a little bit harder to hold with the flow of motion. Oh, there he goes. Tripping Zero. Oh. Oh, was trying to take out Cassidy, but doesn't get it. Cassidy, Cassidy has been with the syndicate long enough. He knows how to play dirty in tag team matches. Oh, Zeno sending. Blow to the ropes, goes under, now goes over. And oh, kicks him. Sending him flying. But Flo not going to allow Zeno taking the advantage. And now, uh oh, oh, what is Flo going for? Low damaging the leg of Zero, trying to stop the high flying offense. Not a bad idea, honestly. Uh oh, Rocky getting Zero up. Comes in for oh, psycho pile driver. Is that it? It is one, two, no. Oh, Cassidy got scared there for a second. Cassidy, <laughs> Cassidy got scared there for a second. Oh, Rocky. Look at him, put him down. Oh! Beautiful butterfly, is that enough? One, two, no! Zero kicks out! And the crowd's chanting tag team wrestling, they're loving it, and oh! Oh! Misses the <laughs> knee drop from the top. Zero taking the advantage. Oh, oh, god, god damn! I don't know if his knee hit Rocky's chest with that angle, but it looked like it did. Now it proceeds to continue the onslaught on Rocky. We should call that DDT clean actions. That would actually be a pretty good move. <laughs> clean actions? Yeah, I'm okay with it. <laughs> we need con we need confirmation though. <laughs> Now, oh god, a big ripcord knee from Zero to Rocky. Rocky has had, had history with concussions, if you will, and it looks like Zero taking advantage of that knowledge. Oh my god! Zero's fighting, god damn, dude. Zero now targeting the arm of Mercado, and now goes to the top. We're going to be seeing another frog splash right there. Holy shit. Beautiful one, too. Goes with a pin. One, two. No, Rocky kicks out. Clean action. All right. So there you go. That's the name of that DDT now.
Oh shit. <laughs> Dude, it, it's just, it feels like it's cheating at this point. Oh shit, Mikado sending fucking Cassidy over the top rope. Zeno not gonna allow Rocky to try taking him out of commission. Oh, Rocky has a long way to go. Has a long way to go. Oh, tags and flow! But, oh my god, dude. <laughs> Cassidy has learned to play dirty in tag team action. It looks like that's what we're seeing here. Lift up. God damn. Is that Timber 2.0? Oh my god. One. No. Bacado there to save it. Oh, okay. I thought Ciro was going to do something, but it looks like Cassidy. <laughs> Cassidy. Oh my god! Huge ass punch! God damn! One, two, go! Oh shit! Flow kicks out! Oh my god! Flow kicks out. Cassidy again, looking to take Makaro out of the equation. God damn! I'm gonna be honest here, with these tag team matches, feels like his MVPs, and the MVP for this one right now is Bill. Bill Cassidy is the fucking MVP for this. Oh shit! A stomping boot! We just call that stomping ground? Because holy fuck. Oh, it's trying to get Flo into the corner. Trying to go for maybe some tag team offense. Flo, though. Oh, shit! Beautiful angle slam! We all know what it is. One, two, no! Cassidy kicks out. God damn it. Cassidy's not holding anything back, and neither is Flo. Flo able to lift up Cassidy. That's fucking insane. Right now, Mikado. I think both Mikado and Flo are realizing that they need to try everything they can. Oh, shit! Is that, was that a draping clean action? <laughs> oh, here it is. One, two, no! Cassidy kicks out. I'm calling it Timber 2.0. <laughs> Go shit! Two and Bill, in my opinion. Honestly, I think so, but in all, I, think, I mean, we could be seeing maybe a huge fucking turnaround. Because it looks like Cassidy started off strong. Oh, what the? Oh. How the fuck did he do that? How the fuck did Cassidy do that? What the fuck? Cassidy fucking just springing up out of action out of nowhere. God damn. Now proceeds to go for the pin on Flo. Flo still kicks out. My God. Honestly, yeah, I can see Zero and Bill probably winning this match, but I, I'm not counting out Flo and McConnell till the bell is rung because uh, we could be seeing out of nowhere a turnaround because Bill already looks like he's been carrying enough. No flow trying to continue on Zero. Right now it's a good discountering from each man. Oh, oh Zero's just realizing he needs to get out of it. Oh drop kicks the knee. Now the live with the springboard crossbody. Oh 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 I think the knee Okay, I think Flo was trying to get up, but it looks like his knee was bothering him. I don't know what happened. Oh! Big kick into a ripcord! Spanish fly! Here it is! One! No! Rocky there to save it! They're gonna go for it. Oh! Okay, small springboard there. Springboard moonsault, goddamn. From, from the bottom rope? Oh! Oh! God damn! One, two, oh, and then the flow just kicks out. My God, holy shit. Zero now going to the top, possibly thinking Frog Splash to end this match. That connects. Is that it? One, two, three. And ladies and gentlemen, the first team qualifying for the bond match is Bill Cassidy and Zero. God. Damn! Again, want to point out, MVP of that, Bill. <laughs> Cassidy fucking carried. Holy shit, dude. Zero, though, coming in with the victory. That's fucking crazy. I, in all honesty, goddamn, dude, Bill, holy shit. Yeah, we, we gotta test him for substance. <laughs> 
<laughs> we gotta test it for substance. I'm telling you, we gotta test it. We gotta test it now. God dang it. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, so two weeks ago, Devil and Carlos Hernandez went toe to toe, mainly because Devil, as far as my understanding of this whole situation goes, because Carlos has even came under the record of not even knowing what the hell is going on here, by the way. Um, we do have actually a thing for that, so give me one quick sec, y'all. So, this was an interview that uh, Carlos had. He said he had 24 hours to reflect on what happened on the last episode of PXT and the challenge he made to Devil at Bond. First, his neck is not broken after that power bomb to the barricade, which is good. Because <laughs> honestly, holy crap, that thing was—I think it looked like he died uh, by Miranda. Second, I got no response from Devil because I guess he's an unholy entity or a spirit of PXT. I don't know how to summon him. All I'm thinking is he will get a receipt from the Mountain King next week on PXT. Now, here's the thing: <laughs> this is before uh, we disclose the whole thing that. At Bond, there is single matches. It's just the big ones are going to be tag team matches, like the big ones for like title opportunity. So um, this is happening uh, next week, and the, well, now it's happening next week, but it's going to be at Bond. So next week on Bond, um, now uh, he chose the choke slam, the Mountain King. So he has a right to hit him back, but he won't see it coming. Oh really? I don't, who knows? Um, like I didn't see him coming. Then, BXC Bond, it will be a monster ball match between Devil and Carlos Hernandez, the king of the mountain. So that's what's going to be happening there. Now, uh, we had tried, tried to talk to Devil. Um, that's sort of same deal. Every time we try getting him out of nowhere, banish. Um, and this is just going from my perspective of it. From what my understanding of the whole thing goes, is that when Hernandez made his whole shtick coming into PXT, when he signed in, he challenged someone that was inferior to Devil. And it looks like Devil took that as a slap to the face. And that is why he is possibly targeting Hernandez. Now, no, those are assumptions for me. Is that 100% confirmed? No, because we can't get that from Devil, because he's fucking hiding. Stop! Damn, something crazy, baby. Never. Yeah. 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 What? <laughs> but yeah. Um. So with that said, uh, because Devil, um, comes and goes as he pleases. He was like, match. Then he faded out. So, uh, we, we put him in a match, and, uh, well, correction, we put a poll for who wanted to face him, and it looks like the one person that actually answered it was none other than Iron Maiden, because I think he's also realizing that maybe Devil is becoming a little bit, uh, too unhinged and needs to be put down for good. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it is Iron Maiden going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Devil. I mean, something crazy debuted in September. I don't know what that it was. Oh, looks like that was already all but Hernandez. I believe Hernandez is playing a little bit of mind games. The devil, the devil's just staring. Fucking dagger! Oh my god, he's just staring daggers at the man. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's just a small chair. When he was coming out, the fan just was like, oh, well, he's a chair. Hold on. There you go, bud. Nandez, it looks like to be playing mind games with Devil himself. Now here it is. Iron Maiden, oh my God, comes in with a big clothesline. Oh, big kick. Here's the thing, you don't disrupt the Devil, especially this new found version of him. Devil, honestly, has been a little unhinged, if you will, ever since uh, certain, or taking out a certain someone. Oh God, attacking the back of the damn thigh. Oh, big punches there, and now, oh my God! 
crabs on your mate by the fucking face and just drops the face first and continues the onslaught. Holy shit. Yeah, right now, Devil is just, god damn, just laying waste <laughs> to the wastelander, if you will. No, nothing to do with Fallout. It's, it's just, it's just, it's just it's sort of worked out. <laughs> Right now, Devil gaining the upper hand. Honestly, I gotta get props. Both men actually going like pretty hardcore in it. Oh, big punch right there. Stopping Iron Maiden from his tracks, but right now, sending Devil to the ropes. Looking to go over and get some of that. Ooh! This is the fucking falling spine buster, and now proceeds with the good shots. My god, Devil is fucking towered, but Devil's still not holding anything back. And now proceeds to get punched in the face. My maiden, and I'll just flip back into the middle of the ring. Yeah, i here. Iron Maiden getting the upper hand, getting Devil draped onto the ropes, and now proceeds to come in with the heavy shots. Gets Devil up, and goddamn drops him. Over the top, looking to pin Devil here. One. Only gets a one count off of Devil. Right now, Iron Maiden. Right now, Iron Maiden has the upper hand on Devil. And now gets him with a snake eyes in the corner. It looks like it busted open Devil. Now Devil's struggling. Oh, wait, no. Maybe I spoke too soon. Comes in with a kick. And now, oh, he's going for a leg drop. Misses it. Oh, big gut shot now. Both men exchanging blows. Devil winning the exchange. Devil coming back at it. Devil's getting a little pumped up, but Hernandez, oh, did say he wasn't going to see it coming, and now the match is, the match ended DQ. Holy shit. Oh, I don't think, I don't think we're done. Hernandez looking to make Devil pay here. Oh, damn. A springboard back elbow. Oh, but Devil's not holding anything back, and I'm catching up with Devil's payday. Oh, now proceeds to with a pressure lock on Hernandez. Hernandez, though, not taking it. Sweeps the leg of Devil. No, I want to point out, this is not a match, y'all. This is not a match. And it looks like straight to hell. Devil stands tall and now again proceeds with a pressure point to Hernandez. Like late waste, and now with a big leg drop. Hernandez trying to come in. Assaulting Devil. Trying to possibly pick up an upper hand. But Devil, Devil is something else. And now comes in with a... Oh, he's coming in with a shoulder tackle. Hernandez not taking it. But now it's a full-on brawl in the middle of the ring. This is not a sanctioned match, everyone. This is not a sanctioned match. Oh, Hernandez getting Devil up, and now drops it for a Snake Eyes into the corner. Oh, oh my God, dude! Why well, now both men is going toe to toe, and now Devil catching Hernandez for a choke slam. Does it get it? And now sweeps the leg of Devil once again. My God, this is the full-on brawl at this point. Oh, and it looks like Hernandez going for a big old King Summit! Laying waste the Devil, but now looking to go a step further! Looking to knock out Devil here! Oh my god! Oh my god! Devil just getting out of the hole! Oh. Holy shit! We have rivalry match using a brawl category. Okay, cool. <laughs> that was an achievement. Awesome. What? What the fuck did I just see? <laughs> what the hell? Dude, Carlos Hernandez came down to ringside for the, before Devil's match with Wicked and Ted entering the ring and attacking Devil to end the match in a disqualification. The animosity between these two have fucking grown. And it looks like that just shocked the shit out of Hernandez. And the light, lights went out. Devil's just fucking bailed, dude.
That was actually a great way to end that. <laughs> I was trying to get caught in like this fucking submission hole. Devil's just like, oh, not fucking giving up, dude. That was crazy. <laughs> Holy shit. Now the question is, is Devil thinking twice about taking on Hernandez? Cause holy shit. Hernandez a little shot that Devil was able to get out of it. Power his way out of it. God damn. Oh well, no, that, that was a, I guess that was a way for that to happen. But now ladies and gentlemen, it is on to our next Bond qualifying match. So I want to point out the first team again, in case people have forgotten about this, the first team that qualified for that match was none other than Zero and Bill Cassidy. Sorry, I gotta actually like circle that because now I'm gonna forget. <laughs> so that, those are the first uh, teams that will be competing in the Bond match. But now the question is, who will they be seeing? Great fucking question. Well, let's find out, y'all. Take that slap nuts! <laughs> Ooh, who's this? Oh, it is the franchise! That's who it is! How dare I say that? And for that, I am now going to hell. <laughs> franchise is in the bond qualifying match, and the question is, who's his partner? Franchise, the owner of EHW, coming here, possibly a look to get a title opportunity, and the Bond match is a straight shot to it. Now, I want to point out, the winners of the Bond matches, technically, both competitors are guaranteed title shots. The question is, who gets first pick? <laughs> In other words, the winner when when the bond. Wait a minute, I gotta clarify a little bit better. So, the team that wins the bond match will main event at the next big show. Whoever wins that match gets the first pick, and the loser will technically get whichever title did not get picked. Ladies and gentlemen, looks like. We are now looking at the newest signee of PXT, Adam Paul. Because his name's Paul. My name's Paul, too. Shut up. Oh, I'm on the bag again. Trust, trust. And hey, it's my faction member. Ha. <laughs> yes, that's right. Uh... Again, if people don't know, at EHW, uh, Shane betrayed his tag team partner, Death, against uh, Franchise's faction. I, I sadly do not remember the faction's name, so my bad on that. But, with that happening, who would be seeing that faction? Hugh PXC. <gasps> I don't know. Right now, it looks like Franchise is going to be maybe having to carry out of pull i'm not sure i guess we're out of the way to see but now the question is who are they facing oh it looks like it's none other than anthony morales oh shit workshop stuff still gotcha <laughs> anthony morales was chosen as one of the teams competing here tonight for the bond match Now the question is, who the hell is going to be his damn partner? Because now we're already in store for Franchise and Morale is starting, possibly starting this off. Now the question is, who the fuck is this tag team partner? Ladies and gentlemen, we have not seen this man since Operation! He was also in the Undisputed Let's Play! Ladies and gentlemen, it is the former Triple Crown Champion of PXT! It's Electro! Wait, so it's Electro and Anthony Morales? Wait, what? Electro possibly not ecstatic about never getting rematch claws for the 
heavyweight championship, but we already we, we've already got a quote about this bitch. On the fine print is a new championship, which means technically there is a no rematch clause for it. But then not just that, he is also technically a former NTW champion as well. Uh, he let go of the championship after the whole dispute that happened. So now, Electro, crownless, looking to claim the big one once again. But I will say this, he will go down as the longest reigning PXC champion. Of four months. <laughs> wait, 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 rivals from Frostfight are tagging? No, right? what the fuck is rivals from? What the hell? His rival's from Bankrupt. What the hell? Oh, shit. I thought you watched the show. No, I'm gonna... No, these two fought at Bankrupt. They're tagging tonight. And again, if they win, that means they, uh... <laughs> again, the pawn match. This is fucking nuts. It's like Morales and Electro maybe putting their differences aside here. Franchise. Uh oh. Oh, franchise. Not only anything, but oh my god! Practically trucking the man. Now immediately goes for the pin on Morales. One. Oh, that's not even a one. Franchise not playing around. He wants a damn title shot. And he wants it now. Morales, honestly, I don't know what's going on with Morales. Morales is playing very, uh. Very cheeky, if you will. I don't know if he's timid or he's testing the waters. I don't know what Morales is doing. It looks like now going in for the springboard. Oh, oh my god! It inverted Frankensteiner! <laughs> I think Morales is trying to test the waters against Franchise because I don't believe them two have ever competed against each other one-on-one -on -one or hell, even in tag team action. Oh, Franchise is trying to go for the springboard action, but Morales stopping it and now gaining the upper hand. Gets Franchise into the corner with a snake eyes. Morales trying to take the upper hand, not getting it. And now, oh, Franchise coming back at it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Franchise gets Morales up for a big running power slam. Oh, shit. I'm stupid. You know this. <laughs> oh, big gut shots. And right now, Franchise. God damn. Really freaking putting the shame. Morales, and I think Franchise. <laughs> Hearing the Adam Ball wanted a shot and now comes in and comes in with big strikes and a big headbutt. Now goes in for the pin. Here it is. One. Only gets a one count. God damn. Only gets a one count after all that? Shit. Oh. Big punches and now Morales looking to come back at it. I don't know what Morales is going to go for. Oh shit. I think Morales is fired up, but is that going to send him up a sign? No, Paul fighting back his own and now gets Morales up. Morales getting out of it. Inverted DDT. A, a dish, Shanna. <laughs> Paul uh, debuting here tonight, already showing that he can hold his own, but Morales already gave me, claiming the upper hand. Big shot to the face and now proceeds to continue the onslaught to the back of Paul. Oh, Morales. Oh, misses the first kick, but gets him with the second. Paul trying to go in for the tag. Morales, though, not allowing it. I think Paul was trying to go to the corner of the tag, but I think he realized he's at the wrong fucking one last minute. Uh oh, Morales setting up sign big for, oh, a big tornado DDT. Now goes with the pin. One. Franchise coming in to save Paul. Oh my god, Paul. I don't know. Paul needs the tag, man. Paul's gonna need a tag, and I'm in big time. But now. Gets him into the corner. And it looks like former Triple Crown champion now in the mix. That ain't Paul over and now. Oh! Double shoulder tackle. Electro now coming in with his own monkey flip right there. I don't know what Morales is doing. Morales, get out of the ring. You don't. You guys get disqualified. Oh, Paul. 
Tag Morales, Paul now coming back at it and looking to put some hurt on to the former Triple Crown Champion. Oh shit. Now Paul's not holding anything back. Paul's giving it his all. Now comes in with a big punch straight to the face of Electro. Electro rolling out. Want to point out, honestly, it seems ever since Electro became the PXC champion. God damn. God damn. Proceeds to punish the shit out of Morales. <laughs> Holy shit. Team on franchise and Adam Paul not holding anything back. Paul displaying, <laughs> displaying great fucking power against both former PXC champion and Anthony Morales. Oh shit. My question is, is Electro going to make him pay? I don't know, but now it proceeds to attack the arm. Hey, Paul, watch out for Tress in Japan. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, Paul coming up. Oh, God. Big punch. And continues the onslaught straight to the spine of Electro. I think trying to get him down and finally does it. A big reversal from Electro, but now I think again, Francis winding in, wanting to take on the Triple Crown Champion, but Paul not holding anything bad. Paul's actually holding his fucking own. And is playing great show of strength. God damn. Honestly, I gotta say it like this. Paul's more of an old-fashioned fighter, and goddamn, we are seeing it right here. Oh, big running knee shot. Is that about to put Electro out of commission? One, no. Anthony Morales saves Electro. Ooh, misses the knee shot. Electro now coming back at it. Sends Franchise to the corner. Oh, Electro saying fuck it and just tags in Morales. Oh, might have been a bad call. Because now Franchise gained the upper hand. I think Electro was just trying to avoid. I don't know, I believe he was trying to avoid fucking going against someone like Franchise and now gets caught in a... Assisted Uranagi? I really don't know what to call that. Ooh, big shoulder tackle from Paul. Paul now going for the pin on Morales. One! Only gets a one count. Oh, Morales. I, I don't know. I think Morales is dazed. I don't know. But now <laughs> gets caught in that ball. Pain right now, Paul and Franchise holding their own in this match against Morales and former PXC champion. Morales gets Franchise. Franchise, though, not going to allow Morales to try to tag in. Franchise sending Morales to the corner. Looks like Franchise, Franchise sees Paul and sees that maybe, maybe, they, they got this in the bag. Oh, Morales trying to go. Electra was trying to call for the hot tag, doesn't get it, and now, oh, shit. Like I said, a bit of an old-fashioned wrestler, if you will. <laughs> looks like it was enough to possibly... Talk that, and now Franchise looks to take out Electro of the equation. Uh oh, Paul trying to get Morales up, doesn't get it though. Right now, it's Morales, Adam Paul, then the ropes, and now, oh, big arm drag. Oh, Paul gets Morales up and drops him down. Is that enough? One, two, no, Morales kicks out. Now my goofy job. Ooh, this is the splash. Oh, oh, big sling blade into a drop kick right there from Morales. I gotta say this, honestly, I think the tag team chemistry from Electro and Morales is what's hurting us. Oh! Big! Corkscrew! Moonsault! A corkscrew! Oh! Ball kicks out! Holy shit! I, I didn't know what to call that. <laughs> now Electro tags in. 
I think Electro was looking to take our franchise, but I guess playing mind games. Them zoom ropes. Oh, hit him in the gut. Electro wanted to share the franchise. It receives to go back to fall. <laughs> Oh, and it looks like he's about to put Paul out of his misery with the disrespectful talent. Goes with a pin. One, two. No, Paul kicks out of the lightning talent. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was just like, well, that's all I got. Your turn. Oh. Then over the top, it looks like Morales looking. Go high risk. No. Oh, Paul coming in to stop. Paul comes in to stop Morales from kicking off. He hasn't hit the Panthers pounds in a minute. He hasn't hit shit. Honestly, it feels like Morales is taking a lot of assault here to where Electro is staying a bit fresh. I don't know if that's the game plan. I don't know. But in all honesty, it feels like it's hurting their team. Oh, Morales busted open too, I want to point out. Yeah, Franchise not holding anything back right now. And now proceeds to take Electro out of the equation. Now both Electro and Anthony out. Franchise. Oh, big fucking outside Santon. This is the knee shot. Morales trying to stay up. Big gut shot. Gets Franchise up. Into a power bomb. Oh my. Oh God. God. Oh shit. Face first into the still steps. Holy shit. And looks like Electro's pissed off as well. We're at a count of seven. I want to point out. Uh, I don't know what happens if this ends in a draw. We're at a count of nine. All right, <laughs> they saved it barely, but they saved it. Panthers pounce on franchise. One. No, doesn't get it. Paul saves it. Looks like Electro now looking to take out. One. No, Franchise still going, still kicking. Oh, what are we seeing here? I believe now we're about to see a big moonsault from Anthony Morales. I don't know that's it, though. Oh, big springboard. It's a curry. He's out to put Franchise out of commission. Here it is. One, two. No, Franchise not giving up. Oh, another oh, inverted Frankensteiner! Morales going to the top. Here's another, another corkscrew! Is that it? One, two, three, and Anthony Morales and Electro are in the bomb match! Holy shit! I gotta, po I, I gotta point this out. Electro literally did nothing in this match and just allowed Morales to just get it. No, as the Panthers pounce, I don't care what you say. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> if you're gonna keep changing the name of the moves, I'm gonna just be going with what we first went with. In this case, that new thing is Panthers pounce. Because the quick screw thing doesn't make sense and it's a pounce. <laughs> Alright. That was actually a really good match, I'm not gonna lie. Because it did goddamn Paul though. Holy shit, debuting. He's a bit of an old fashioned type of wrestler. <laughs> like he has an old fashioned way of wrestling, but it fucking works. <laughs> <laughs> like it genuinely worked because goddamn I legitimately thought he was gonna pin Morales <laughs> oh, I, thought he was gonna, I thought someone was gonna pin Electro honestly holy shit that was really fucking good not even gonna lie I just realized has the face game music been muted this entire time oh wow it has can, can you guys hear the face cam music now can y'all hear that now he was a jumper <laughs> Apparently not! 
<laughs> oh man, that was a great fucking match. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we still have five matches left. Son of a bitch. <laughs> we are down to wait. One, two, three, four. Oh, never mind. We're down four matches. Okay, never mind. Okay, cool. We are going to be having our next qualifying match. That is right. This is the third one. So now, again, want to point out the two teams that are in the bond match now confirmed is Zero and Bill Cassidy, and now Electro and Morales. That's going to be huge. <laughs> but now, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to see the next two teams now are randomly chosen. Now, the question here is, oh shit, oh god, oh fuck, oh, everything does hurt. We can also now hear the other beat, good, 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 on to the next match, y'all. Alright, well now we're gonna see who are the next couple teams, whoa, what's this? Are we? Who, who is it? Oh shit! Returning to PXT! It's none other than Jason Castle! Who god damn bulked up! Holy shit! God damn! He got out of jail. He was like, God, I haven't eaten in years. And uh, that is what happened. But holy fuck. God damn, he, he swole. He's a, he's a big castle now. <laughs> God damn. We have not seen Jason Castle. In a minute, actually. It feels like it's been a while since we've seen Jason Castle, hasn't it? Castle, former inmate. Now. Free man. It looks like he's been living life best way possible. And now he wants to come back here. Possibly make a name for himself in BXT. Big boy. Amy Cassidy, rivalry. I don't know. Hold up. <laughs> it looks like his tag team partner is none other than Johnny Tagawa. Johnny Tagaloa coming here and now tag teaming with a newly uh, signed. What the hell did you get? What, what was that? Why is his leg stuck? Hold on, wait, hold on, wait, what was that? <laughs> I don't know why, that looked a little funny for a second. Because on my, I, I think it was a, yeah, okay, yeah, it was a split second. For some reason, the split second that I saw, it looked like, uh, <laughs> It genuinely looked like his, like, calves were so fucking skinny. Holy shit. <laughs> like, it was it was literally pen thin. That's, that's what I said. Hey, look, it's Johnny, the man who beat the living shit out of Slade. To be fair, he got distracted. No, <laughs> Oh, shit. Draven! Draven's in this map! Oh god, oh god, dude, the ring's gonna break. The ring's gonna fucking break. We're gonna take some castle with Draven. The ring's gonna fucking break, dude. Holy shit. This is this is actually funny too, cause uh I believe it was in MTW where Tugaloa and Draven were once tag team partners. So now they are going toe to toe against each other. Well, fuck me. Now, who's his tag team partner? Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Jameis' tag team partner is the big dick. Baddie of PXT, it's Onyx, yo! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I genuinely forgot his partner for a second. I'm not fucking with anybody here. I genuinely forgot his partner for a second. Uh, I just realized we only had one multi-man rivalry kinder with me, Bone, and Lawler kind. Well, semi, semi, yeah. 
Big Thick Baddie of BXT Tag Teaming with the Turkish Butcher. That's, that sounded like I said Butcher weird. <laughs> it sounded like, it sounded like I forgot the B. At least in my head, that's what it sounded like. It is, ladies and gents, it is now. Oh my god! We had to back up the camera! <laughs> oh shit! Draven picking up. Oh my. Castle! Too big! <laughs> the fucking Mackie D's coming to assist! That's what we're seeing here! Two behemoths in the fucking ring right now! My god! And castles the whole in the back. Oh my god, since Draven flying! And proceeds to tag in Tugaloa. Honestly, I thought these two were gonna build a minor friendship with each other, but it looks like they realized they realized that when they saw each other's entrance, they gotta go toe to toe. Tugaloa getting Controlled by Draven. Draven now gaining the upper hand and now proceeds to damage the knee of Tugaloa, possibly making it tougher for him to hit the true Samoan Spike. And now comes in with a bear hug. Mackie D's motherfucker. It's Mackie D's. Mickey D's. No, it's Mackie D's. What are you talking about? And BXC World, it's Mackie. Mackie! No, I'm joking. Call him McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. I'm just fucking with everybody right now. <laughs> and now, Tugaloa proceeds to go for the pin on Draven. Only go, only gets a two count. Tugaloa is like, I want to see the ring break. <laughs> Tags a castle. A cat. My God, dude, Draven's having a tough time right now. Oh, Castle was looking to take out. Onyx doesn't get it. Tugaloa, oh, Castle does take out Onyx, and now Tugaloa is sending Draven back in the ring. <laughs> Don't do Castle up top, oh no. I got scared for a second. Oh, big snap DDT. I just realized, can the ring break in tag team matches? I just realized that. Big, another big DDT right there. Like, generally, can the ring break in tag team matches? A theory that will be tested later. Oh, gets the hot tag. Onyx is in. Tugaloa getting the upper hand. Not holding anything back. Calling him in. Call oh, oh shit. Oh god, I thought he was going for Onyx. No, he turns here. He That's Tugaloa playing mind games out there. I thought he was going for Onyx as well. He immediately puts his attention on. Hell, I thought his former best friend, or former friend, Draven. And now Onyx taking control. Taking advantage of the mishap. But Tugaloa is not going to allow him to take advantage. Oh, I don't know. I think Tugaloa was trying to go for starting. Onyx not going to accept it. And now sends him going. And now sends him on a Tilt World Neckbreaker. That wasn't even Tilt the World, bitch. I know. It's, it's just a roundabout neckbreaker. But either way, it worked. Onyx going to the top. Now calling a shot, telling to the Lord to stand the hell up and goes in for a big old big chop straight to the skull. My question is, what's he gonna go for? Uh, I guess Tugaloa in the corner. It looks like now Onyx and Tugaloa. Who did he come at? Oh, oh god! Ah! That was an atom bomb! That's what the fuck that was! Holy shit! Tugaloa saw his life flash before his eyes. That's another, oh my god, what the fuck? God damn, he has hops! Buck Dragon looking to sneak the win! Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what's going on? Wait, what? Wait, what? What? Wait, is the ref saying that someone's not a legal man? I think the ref forgot the rules. What the fuck? I think he generally forgot the rules. That was a pin, and he was telling Draven he wasn't a legal man. Oh, trying to go for a roundabout. DDT doesn't get it. Castle being a fucking behemoth. Oh, big Alamo drop. Pass under the ropes. Goes under. Oh, misses the big boot. And now Onyx looking to get capitalized off it. Gets Castle on for suicide. A pile driver. Is that it? One. No. Misses it. Why is he calling it a suicide a pile driver? Because he's sort of committing a suicide when he tries going for him. <laughs> a pile driver on himself. 
Oh, he's trying to get Castle up. Castle's not gonna have it. Castle now. Looking. Oh no! Was looking to put down Onyx. Onyx though, not taking it. It's now going back and forth. Gets in there. Now tags in Draven. Again, the battle behemoths continuing. God damn! Oh god, dude, I get I, I get tense because I think the ring's gonna break. Yes, I know the animation for it. Let me play. <laughs> Dave, oh my god. Lifts up Castle. Dead weight. Castle lifts him up and Castle immediately gets back up. David sends the rope. And now, oh god, no. 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 Oh god. Just punishing Dave and now I'm just punishing Castle. I'm sorry. Holy shit. Onyx. Maybe looking ready for it. Oh! Flatliner! Is that it? One! Two! No! Castle kicks out. Draven was trying to take out Tugaloa. Doesn't get it. I think Onyx is probably looking for another batty flatline, but didn't get it. Oh, shit! Oh, God. I thought he was going to throw him over the top rope, like literally up to the outside. But drops him on the top rope. Jason now getting Onyx into the corner. Can't do it the way. Can't do it that way. Can't break the ring in tag team action. Aw. Lame. Holy shit. God damn. Onyx goes flying. Castle now has to go to the ringside. And it looks like, I believe, a sleeper hold. No. No. A submission hold on Onyx. But Onyx gets out of it. Zona's going for here. Oh, took a lot. Getting. Onyx up and oh, oh I, I didn't see was that kick or punch those were a knockout one two no Onyx still kicks out Onyx former TikTok champion Tuggalo and Castle have yet to lame claim to gold oh misses the big boot Onyx sending Castle over oh now another tilt well the neck breaker it's not tilt world bitch it's around the world I oh, know I'm sorry David. Oh, Dre was looking to drop kick Castle. Castle, though, gained the upper hand from it. And now, goddamn, send them fucking flying. Castle's like, get in here. Okay. Tugaloa, Draven, again. They've, they've been to war with each other. And now, they find themselves fighting one another. Tugaloa's like, you know, I'm just gonna punch you, bud. <laughs> There is, there is small friendships that can be mended there. Who knows? Right now, it's Castle and Draven. Big punch. Oh. I think Castle's been trying to go for something. Okay, it's another big punch. Castle sends Draven to the ropes. Sends him up. Oh, my God. Huge spine buster. Now goes with a pin. One, two. No, Draven kicks out. That was a kick when he put him in the shoulders. A draw. Oh, draw. I oh, got gotcha. you. Okay. That was the, that was a Samoa kick. <laughs> and now, oh shit! God damn! Didn't waste no fucking time. God damn! Took it lower with a fucking brutal ass spear. Holy shit! I think he's trying to get another advantage, though. Draven is not going to allow it to happen. Draven has realized that Tugaloa is a fighter. It's going to take a lot to take him out. And, oh God! Hits him with a big headbutt. One, two, no, kicks out. Tugaloa on the ropes, wanting Draven to give it his all. And Draven looking again, looking to take away the power from the True Samoan Spike. Draven gets him up for a big power slam. That might be it. One, two, no, Dra Draven almost had it. Tagaloa refusing to give up. This is what I'm talking about, man. Draven should know this already. It's gonna take a lot more to drop down Tagaloa. Oh, oh, the inverted, the inverted Alabama. And now tags in Onyx. Oh, I think Onyx was going for something. Doesn't get it. Tugaloa still fighting back. Still not done in this match. 
Oh, Onyx gets out of it. Onyx gets Zuggaloa up. Probably looking for another suicidal pile driver. Doesn't get it. Oh, Zuggaloa fighting his heart out. Not giving up. And now proceeds to come in with big shot straight to the face of Onyx. And now continues the offense. Zuggaloa, oh my god. I, I gotta give him props. He's giving it his all, but in all honesty, if I was him, I would tag in Castle. Only because I've already taken enough damage, man. I've already taken enough damage. <laughs> my partner needs to be carrying his fucking weight. And it looks like you heard me say that, because now he proceeds to tag in Castle. That's Castle. Looking at a down Onyx. See them there now? Castle looking to go for a submission hold on Onyx of all things. Oh, but Draven there to break it up. Wait, right, what's Castle going for? Oh, Onyx tags in Draven. Draven with the long arms. Oh, Draven getting Castle into the corner. Now proceeds to beat the living shit out of Castle. Castle's not taking it. Oh, big jumping clothesline. And Castle was trying to go for something, didn't get it. And now Draven's getting the upper hand, gets the big man up, and immediately proceeds to drop him down. Holy shit. Big kick straight to the face. And now. Ooh, God. Oh, shit. Draven now busted open. Number C's get a big leg drop right there. All right, now Castle tags in Tugaloa. I think Tugaloa wanting to put down Draven. And now Basisa coming in with a big, god damn, big fucking spine buster right there. And now it looks like, oh, I think he was trying to go for the True Simone spike. Draven though, trying to fight him out of it. Draven gets stuck all the way up. Oh my god, this playing, show the strength. On Tagaloa. And the siege of the big suplex! Looks like he now tags in. Onyx. Onyx needs to capitalize. He needs to come in. Oh! Immediately does with a big drop kick. And now proceeds to work on the arm of Tugaloa. And Onyx, what I don't know what Onyx is doing. If I was Onyx, Onyx just proceeds to tag in Draven. But Tugaloa is not holding anything back, comes in with a big clothesline. Tugaloa is, god damn dude, I gotta get props to him man, he, he wants to fight, he wants to show everybody that he's a prize fighter, that he's a champion fighter, and that he can be a champion here in Phoenix City, but gets caught in a big left up power slam, and that's it. Oh wait, but no, oh, Castle saves the match. Stays up with Draven now, deadlifting Tagaloa. They're all weighing almost nothing. Oh, God damn. That has to be it. One, two, no. Dude, I think Draven's even shocked at this point. He's like, stay the fuck down. Tagaloa, a street fighter, refusing to stay down, refusing to accept defeat. Goes in and now proceeds to get no! Troy right there, Onyx. Oh, Tuggalor has to roll out. Onyx, though. I think Onyx is debating what to do. He looked at Castle and realized that this fucker has a shot to ruin their chances and proceeds to take out Castle on this equation and takes out Tuggalor in the fucking factor. You don't know what you said. I know! So much shit is going on. Tagaloa fucking showing like high ass resiliency and determination for this fight to continue and now sends Onyx back in the middle of the ring. Tagaloa, oh, springboard form. Tagaloa's in a one, a two on one predicament right now. That's what he was born to do. Keep fighting and keep a higher ground like Red Hot Chili Peppers keeping fire like too. I, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Peppers keep on fighting like 
Go oh, KO, yeah! But now Tagaloa proceeds to tag in Castle. Oh, both men missing their big shots. Ball is getting the better of the exchange. Sends Castle to the ropes. Goes under. Go somehow goes over. And now another roundabout neckbreaker. It's around the world, bitch. I fucking know. Shut up, brain. Even though I don't even know that's actually the name. It's just shut up, brain. Oh, oh, ooh. Ow on the back, dude. Onyx trying to claim gold here as well, trying to get the opportunity to claim the big gold. But right now, Castle and Tagaloa really fucking holding their own at this point. And he calls me a dumbass when he can't read. I don't know how to read, maybe-ish. 50-50. Castle looking. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, Tagaloa! High risk maneuver! It connects on Onyx! I just realized our curse of PXC ended. <laughs> like they, they don't just do it and then miss just because someone moved. All right. I believe Tagaloa is probably looking to take the easy way out here because right now the rest the rest counting pretty fast. What the fuck? God damn, the ref is counting fast. What the fuck? Down of eight. I, I built it's gonna count. It it is gonna sadly count. It counts! It counts! <laughs> and with that, Tagaloa and Castle move on to the bond match. I don't lie, it's a cheap way, but in all honesty, it's it still counts. Maybe you showed us you can't. <laughs> no, it's because uh, on the chat, there's like a little fucking emote thing, and it always covers up words sometimes. And there are times where I can't read precisely because then I have to look like, what? <laughs> and I can't move it. I want the stupid emote thing to go. Can I change that, actually? Can I actually change that? Wait a sec, I actually want to see. Uh, aha! Yes! They added a feature to it! I can remove it! <laughs> the day is safe! Huh? And I can read the chat fucking properly. Finally! Son of a bitch. That shit is genuinely been pissing me the fuck off. <laughs> Alright. Well, either way, congratulations to Jason Castle and Giants. We'll see you all guys at Bond in the Bond match. Goddamn, honestly, the Bond match is already looking to be... <laughs> Are you looking at me fucking crazy? But right now, ladies and gentlemen, every week we have a championship match. And this week it is the TikTok Championship. That's right. And at this point, um, it is the crime boss, Satoshi Makoto, looking to get his hands dirty and claim gold for his own. Not just the tag team gold, but the TikTok Championship. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Satoshi Makoto and Jin for the TikTok Championship. Let's see what happens here. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is for one fall, and it is for the PXC TikTok Championship. Even though we might have to change the name of the title because TikTok's getting banned. There's this fucker. <laughs> he is the crime boss of PXC, but not even just that. He is the leader of the syndicate. So far, the syndicate have been going fucking nuts lately. Satoshi, at this point, is undefeated in operation. He's simply 2-0, 2-0. I was going to say 3-0, but 2-0, I believe. Because, yeah, he is 2-0 at operation right now. I was about to say 3, but no, it was 2. It felt like he was in that many matches. And now, not just going for this title opportunity, he will also be competing in a bond match for the PXC Tag Team Championship. In other words, the confirmed teams we have is the Jeffries, the champions, Menace, and the Syndicate. For some reason, I don't know why, no one in the back wants to fucking confirm who's gonna be the last fucking team. Because I talked to Rocky, I talked to Boggs, they said no. Shit, well, yeah, no, Jane just said fuck that. So I don't know who the fuck's in that thing! And I'm pissed. Well now, 
the crime boss. Look in the face. Possibly a huge challenge here also. Oh, fuck it. Oh, it plays out finally. I don't know what happened last week or two weeks ago because for some reason this animation took so long to pop up and I have no idea why. Oh, that was probably because he's a champion right now. That'll explain it. Edits them into a video. What if I go back to the old video and get all the hardcore championships? Wait, what? Shoot, <laughs> wait, what? There he is. Our TikTok champion, Jin. Jin and CJ gave us one hell of a match two weeks ago for this championship. Honestly, the TikTok matches for the title have been fucking nuts. Sadly, Gen X uh, suffered an injury, so we will not be seeing Gen X for quite a while here in PXT. But holy shit, he fucking put prestige on this championship to where now everybody is going fucking nuts and wants the TikTok championship now. Him and fucking Mox, honestly, for both TikTok and Hardcore Championships. I am excited to see who can carry these titles far, and hopefully, who knows, maybe Jin can do that tonight by picking up the win, because I believe, if I am correct, if we're going, like, longest champions in general, I believe, Gen X is technically... Well, yeah, technically he would still be longest reigning champion, because I believe he's... Two months in it? Because I know he lost it at Rush. Mox and Gen X definitely lost their titles at like Rush time, so in January. I think Mox held his a little longer. I think he lost it in February, but eh. I'm excited to see who picks up the win on this one. Last time, a syndicate member held one of those randomized titles, and yes, I did say fuck the beaver. Hey, what? Fuck being in tag matches, and fuck you, Hunter. Gotcha. <laughs> Wait, fuck the beaver? Who the fuck's the beaver? You literally said beaver, don't tell me I didn't read. What the fuck's a beaver? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> fuck the beaver? What beaver? Now I'm confused, don't you? Like, when was the, the Hollywood Championship was made? After Abyss. So we TikTok, technically, if we're going by actual day wise, I believe the TikTok Championship is either a day or a week older than the Hardcore Championship. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the TikTok Championship. I was not a ring announcer, but I guess I'll still try to do it if it shows it. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, he is the leader of the syndicate, Satoshi Makoto! And his opponent, he is the Tick Tock Champion of PXC, Jin! How do you love that one? I don't know, it sounded weird. <laughs> in my head, it sounded weird. Because I edited them into a video to put in the TikTok page. Oh! Oh, like every hardcore? Well, if anything, we tried doing that for uh, Twitter as well. Uh, so if anything, we'll probably try doing that for both uh, Twitter and for TikTok. Yes, we're going to be having an actual PXT. Uh, I still call it Twitter, but technically it's an X account. So if you guys want to follow me, yeah, I can. Because uh, we're going to try expanding a little bit more to where uh, if more people do come in, we're probably going to have to cut down the roster a little bit because uh, I think we're going to have to start setting character limits. But for right now, we are all good. We're going to see what happens in the future because right now, Jin, in this match, starting it off, tries going for roundabout DDT, but Satoshi not holding anything back. Holy shit! God damn! 
Jin was trying to come in straight off the bat, but here's the thing. He underestimated Satoshi right there. And Satoshi already showing why he does not play around here. Honestly, I won't lie to y'all. I feel like it's been a long time since we've seen Satoshi like in one-on-one -on -one action besides Operation. Like, at least on PXC, I believe the last time he competed one-on-one -on -one was actually against a former person at PXC. I believe that was the last time we saw him fight one-on-one. -on -one. Because he's literally been hiding behind the Syndicate for goddamn a while. So it's actually interesting to see Satoshi back in it, back into action. And Lao looks to take on... Jin, and it looks like goddamn giving Jin a fucking fight right now. Holy shit. Oh, but Jin, now I gotta take it lightly. So people are getting released. Maybe. It depends. We gotta see how it goes. Because uh, if more people do want to join, we got to make room for everybody. Because then if it's too big of a roster, it's going to be almost impossible for uh, everybody to be shown. So that's where we got to try seeing what we can do with that. Oh, shit. Beautiful Northern Light Suplex from Satoshi to Jin. Right now, I got to give props to Satoshi. He's surprising the world by giving it to Jin. Because Jin really showed that he can, like take control of a match against CJ. And right now it looks like he's really struggling against someone like Satoshi. And now goes for, oh! <laughs> Showing Jin that he can do it way better! Jin though not holding back. Kick the gut. Jin for a pump handle. Oh, oh shit! Two Mr. Cleans are fighting. To be fair, I don't know if Jin is bald. I believe Jin has hair. It's just... Matching his skin color? I don't know. Because from here, it looks like he has actual, like, uh, lines of hair. So, I want to say he's not bald. Satoshi is, though. Oh, shit! All oh, beautiful Northern Lights into a pin! Satoshi, honestly, has not missed a beat. And honestly, Satoshi, goddamn, dude. It feels like he... I just realized something... I believe Satoshi has only lost once in PXT. I gotta look back on that, but if I am correct, I believe Satoshi has only lost once. Oh, beautiful shining wizard. God damn. Straight to the skull of Satoshi. One, two. No, Satoshi kicks out. Uh, well, no, uh, we can't do more shows because guys, I, I do work. And I can't really hold more shows. So, like, even doing PXC, I struggle even, like, doing the episode. So, as much as I would love to, I, I just can't. Because we're, we're right now, it's too small to be making more shows. Because I want to do a lot more PXT. But I literally do not have the time to put all my effort into it. Because uh, even one of the episodes, um, we wanted to try doing animations for promos. Oh, it looks like... Satoshi going in for the crime lock looking to make Jin give up the TikTok championship. Oh, wait, no? Okay, I generally don't know what happened there. I'm okay, I'm gonna assume game wise Jin used uh, resiliency. I don't know though. One, two, Jin kicks out. I can do one for a brand. I understand that, guys. It's just I also don't want to, like, ask too much of everybody because, like I said, with right now, I already feel bad as they're, like, having as much as we can. Oh, oh, hello. This is actually a new one from Satoshi. I've actually never seen Satoshi do this one. This is new. Oh, Jin kicks out or gets out of it. Yeah, right now, Satoshi, god damn, dude. Not holding anything back, but Jin looking to fight back. Oh, goes under. Goes over. And now... Oh, comes in with a suplex. Trying to stop Satoshi. Springboard. Oh. Ah, well, the kick still landed. Yeah, because honestly, I already feel bad asking for a lot of uh, help with PXC as it is. Uh, like, with the TikTok, everything like that. I feel bad because personally, like, I wish I could pay the people that want to help. But I can't, and I feel immensely bad about that because people are going out of the way for helping PXT. Um, and 
with YouTube, it's it's immensely hard to do that because it, it's hit or miss with you to YouTube. Don't get me wrong, we get views and everything like that, but for it to like actually matter matter, it would have to be like we, we would have to hit like hundred people in the live streams of anything. And uh, right now it's not there. Now we're hoping Twitter can do that. But we would have to make some like sacrifices with that as well to where the sacrifices would be some cuts. Um, now, no, it won't be like main ones, like people that actually want, like in this case, uh, like for me, uh, if I had to do it, I would have to cut Onyx. Um, in other words, if I did have to do it, I would do it with threes for a perfect example, if there was an example like that. Um, Jen looking to keep the championship from ring out count. Hoping that Satoshi doesn't get up. Had a count of eight. Satoshi coming back in the middle of the ring. That looks like Satoshi. I think Jin. I don't know if Jin was just trying to get the ring out count there or what, but eh. So what is the Twitter? Uh, no, no, it's not up yet because I'm assuming what we're gonna do is that we're gonna try to get a little bit more clips and then do it because if we just do it with just one clip, it's not gonna be worth checking out. Uh, so we're gonna have to have a little bit more clips and everything like that. So that's the whole point for today's episode and everything like that. That's why we're showcasing a lot of people. Um, but yeah, yeah. Glad to be talking about this in the middle of this championship man. Oh shit! Oh shit! The mist straight into a fucking punt to Jin! Oh, uh, Satoshi saying, nah, nah, I'm not gonna pin you for it. You're gonna give me that championship! He says you're gonna give me that championship! Here it is! This Again! I I don't know what's going on with that. I'm assuming he's getting out of it. I don't know. Is that is that a submission? No. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. That was a weird one. Because that was only like twice that happened, and for some reason, no submission. But oh, gets caught a big elbow from the top, and now goes with a pin. Here it is. One, two. Three, and Satoshi is the new TikTok champion! My god! Right, that is what we're here for. Rocky uh, want to do it too because it's a job, because we love you like a brother and we want to see you do well and all of uh, all out of the LFG. Yeah, no, I understand that, but like I said, if it, it like falls under, I would feel bad that we do on all this work and the next thing you know, like it was all for nothing because really that was that would be the main goal <laughs> i would love to do pxt and uh hell i would love to do like another show as well um that's why like mtw was sort of hoping with that like dream in a way because i would love to have like a pxt be like the raw another show be the smackdown and then maybe a third one for like uh the movie like anybody that we want to see like maybe come up later you know um Exactly, even Rocky agrees with me. If you don't know what I'm tall. Is it tall? Eh, about to read that long ass paragraph I typed out. Oh shit. You actually sent a long ass paragraph. Hey, if you want to upload TikTok again, my mommy also get to change the. Well, I was gonna say, with the. Uh, we were gonna do it like simultaneously, so really it would be TikTok and uh, Twitter getting both of them. Because TikTok does have a community, though it is a tiny bit harder. Uh, wait, so it's Sochi's wins, what happens last time? Syndicate member held one of those fan of ours time. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, that, that was like I already read. Um, but yeah, uh, I believe I'm losing connection. Oh, well. Uh, well, but that was the last two matches as well. But, like, I know that's the only reason, like, I would love to do more shows, but, like I said, I, I would need to... This thing would have to be sustainable for not just myself, but for my family. And then I would also like to, like, you know, um, help out the people that are working on it as well. Uh, so, right now. Uh, but yeah. With that said, back into PXT and all the songs. Because <laughs> it's if I kill my vibe. <laughs> it's good, it's good. No, I, I, 
It, uh, <laughs> I, I'm a very, I'm a person that doesn't like putting a lot of faith in stuff, because uh, if I do, when it doesn't go like what I hope for, you and that's what, that's, that's, that's sort of, that's sort of what uh, I'm trying not to do with this one, because <laughs> I did that, uh, I think on my first run of YouTube, with the whole like, uh, one series, Bad Boys Girl, I did it with that, and immediately made that. Uh, mistake and fucked up. This time around, I'd rather take it as a small journey towards it, and uh, yeah, we'll just see what happens. Right now, hell, I'm more impressed with a year on how big PXT has grown, and I appreciate y'all guys for that, and I appreciate that you guys want to help as much as possible with it. I genuinely do, because PXT is, like, amazing, honestly. It's 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 the best it's ever been. Um, and I'm excited to see what happens this next coming year, because not even lying, two months, uh, from now, actually, is, uh, well, actually, not too much from now. Technically, I guess next week would be a month away from our year of PXT. So that'd be PXT's birthday, technically, beginning of, uh, maybe the next picture after Bond. Maybe, I don't know. Either way, back on to PXT, ladies and gentlemen. We are down to our last two matches, and one of them is actually. The last qualifier for the Bond match. Uh, now I want to point out, uh, again, some returns and, and, some new faces. Uh, I'm excited to showcase these ones because uh, one of them is another family member of mine, not an actual, like, character family. No, this is an actual, like, well, I guess technically character family and family member because uh, my nephew saw a little bit of the show as well. He's not a big fan of WWE. But when he heard that my brother was in it and that I was in it with uh, Devil, technically, um, he wanted to be in it, and he made a character actually. And uh, yeah, so that that's one thing I will say. Uh, and no, I did not throw him in here out of pity. We did do a randomizer. We did it literally Friday. He got picked, and his partner. <laughs> <laughs> that is all I'm gonna say. <laughs> he got fucking lucky, and I hate it. Looks like the first person from the other team is none other than Mr. Jack Daniels. Yeah, hey, that's right. Jack's gonna try drinking his way all the way to the fucking finish line at Bond. But the question is, can him and his partner pick up the win to advance to the Bond match next week? That's an excellent question. I have no idea. We will see, though. And, 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 if we get, if we get, can, can, wait, what, wait, what? <laughs> Oh, cam girls! Oh, no! <laughs> those, those ones are secretly men. Technically. Oh, there's one. Um, hold it. Be my chat above this one. It's funny. Oh, okay. Uh, exactly. Even when Rocky agree. Okay. I have some clips for you, Shane. Send them later. Okay, you also already read it. And, 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 and we get, yeah, I read that. Oh, it looks like, it looks like Jack Daniels! Is that, God damn it! I hate his fucking face when he does that. I hate it because it generally looks like my brother for a moment, and I fucking hate it. <laughs> my bro, Justin is gonna be Jack Daniels' partner looking to possibly kickstart his career this time around. Now, last year, goddamn, one, he was scrawny, two, he practically didn't win at all. But last week, picking up a huge win against Michael Slade. Now, maybe this could be his opportune moment, his opportune time. Also, breaking fourth wall, when we were doing the randomizer, Devil actually did get chosen as partner, but because he's already involved with something, I already knew Devil would not agree to a bond match. So now, it is Jack Daniels and Justin, but who the hell will they be facing? Oh, fuck. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have not seen this man since Operation. <laughs> he came up short at Operation by submitting to a pressure hold from Smooth Marino, but it looks like... <laughs> 
looks like daddy's back. <laughs> Holy shit. Now, I want to point out, we're either going to be witnessing a murder or we're going to be witnessing a fucking murder. <laughs> Jill is back in PXT competing in tag team action. Now, I do also want to point out something. See, Jill technically does not have a good time in tag team matches, so this could be fucking crazy. Fuck no. If we get fangirls, Drew, all the. God damn it. I'm not reading that one. <laughs> I'm not finishing that. There he is. The White Viper. Of Russia is going to be dude. If somehow he wins, I tend to get a semi version of my dream match, which is C Jill against Electro. I need to know who wins. I genuinely need to know, man. It's 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 more because it's like because when C Jill was created, I didn't expect him to be the damn monster that he was at the beginning. Don't get me wrong, he fell off a bit, but. I didn't expect him to, like, be that crazy when he came in. And now he's already built this aura. Now, don't get me wrong. He's, he's still, like, he fell off a bit. But he does still have his aura about him. See, Jill, looking to claim gold once again. Who knows, maybe to become the first time ever three-time YouTube champion? God, you imagine that'd be fucking crazy. <laughs> Jill, back in PXT. No, never. <laughs> now, who's his tag team partner? Ladies and gentlemen. Making his PXC debut is none other than who the fuck's this bitch? Adrian Cave. So, quick question: Is he is he actually blind? Wait, what? No, you're fucking with me. He's blind. How the, wait, then how the fuck is he walking to the? Okay, so from knowledge I just received right now, apparently Adrian Cave is PXC's first ever blind wrestler. And I'm also getting, wait, what, hold on, wait, what? And apparently he's a second generation wrestler to both Devil and Justin. So wait, so he's related to them? Well, you know what? That explains a little bit of the blind shit now. <laughs> Goes on some Kenshi for Mortal Kombat shit right now. I mean, I heard that he still has his eyeballs, but he's, he just can't see, so... But they freak people out when you see him. But what I'm hearing in the comms right now... It looks like it's Daniels starting it off against C. Jill! Oh, God. 
Right now, C. Jill coming in straight off the bat and looking, coming in with big shots straight to Mr. Daniels. And continues the fucking onslaught. Oh my god. And C. Jill already coming in. Fucking aggressive, dude. No, no, this is something we're not unfamiliar with. With C. Jill. Looks like C. Jill's thinking about the new future of PXD and now tags in. Adrian Cave again. Cave immediately coming in. God damn, with hard ass strikes. Sending the ropes and now, oh God, flips him over. Shit. Immediately going for the pin. I want to point out, Cave is technically also going against his fucking uncle right now. At least he can hear. Maybe? I made the Twitter account. Wait, no, 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 no. Drew, delete that. Because <laughs> we already have someone making it. <laughs> right now, immediately goes for the shots. Yeah, because we, we had a vote on it, and uh, someone already claimed the position. Or the person we uh, said that offered it, claimed the position. But Drew Jeffrey. Oh, okay. I thought we were talking about the BXC thing. I was like, no, Drew, no. <laughs> All right, that works. All right, right now, Cave fucking showing no remorse to Daniels. Daniels tag, tagging his uncle. He can discipline him. Oh, shit. Immediately goes for shot straight to the gut, straight to the face. Oh, shit. But. Look at that, oh my god, he's using, he's using the daredevil senses. And now proceeds to tag C. Jill. Oh, C. Jill, C. Jill was scaring the shit out of Justin. Get yeah, no, right now, god damn dude, Daniels is being fucking destroyed right now, oh my god. Because I'm super in character, wait, what? Oh, 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 so I keep forgetting about, like, super, super. <laughs> oh, wait, oh! <laughs> Trying to go in for a quick fucking roll-up on CG. Oh, beautiful maneuver right there from Daniels! Now, oh, giving CG a piece of his own medicine with a big knee of his own! CG now holding back. And now proceeds to tag in Adrian Cave. Right now, Cave and C. Jill surprisingly making a decent fucking tag team right now. I don't know what C. Jill's doing. I guess trying to play backup for Daniels in case something stupid happens. Oh, ripcord knee straight to the skull! Oh. That is Cave looking to gain the upper hand. Gets him up and now, oh shit, big maneuver right there. The dog of the uncle being a dick right there. Being a fucking ass. What the fuck is he doing? One, two. Daniels kicks out. I don't know what the fuck that was. Holy shit. Also, more people. We might uh, need more channels for the Discord. Yes, 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 we will. Need a lot more channels for the Discord. But, we're, no, that's going to be until it happens. We're not going to just make them because uh, if we don't have, like, a ton of people in the Discord server, there's no point in making them because then it'll just be empty space. And now Daniels now tags in Justin. Now it's uncle versus nephew. <laughs> and Justin, oh, God. Showing why he's been at this for a long time. But now tags in C. Jill. So now it's Justin against C. Jill. Justin's not phased. Justin's not phased. Oh, shit. Justin's not phased. <laughs> Big one over there. The Justin was looking to discipline his fucking never He told him to get the fuck out. Oh, shit. Iron Maiden left the server. Oh, shit. But what I'm hearing is we have one cut. <laughs> He didn't like how his match ended here tonight. And now comes in with a springboard forearm! And now goes with a pin. Aussie, he told me, Justin versus C. Jill. I would, I would laugh at it, but now, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Justin kicks up. Oh, beautiful one-foot drop kick. 
Oh, and I'll get CJ with a big monkey flip. I'm genuinely shocked. Now, Justin is holding his own against the White Viper of Russia, but he's showing why he's a legendary high flyer. Though he has the fucking physique of a goddamn fucking Spartan, the man. Goddamn. Big code breaker right there. See, Jill actually being pushed back a bit. Oh, there is FC Jill now looking to get out of the full on assault from Justin. Sends Justin to the corner. No. Sends to the ropes. One gets caught. A big drop kick. Justin. God damn, dude. Justin shocking the fucking system. Big punch. CJ not going to take it. CJ now. Oh, again. Trying to send Justin to the ropes. Justin, though, not having it. And fucking slips up. CJ. Justin is. Justin just carried Daniels right now. Oh. Oh, there it is. Daniels getting the upper hand off of Adrian. Now attacks the back and proceeds to continue the onslaught. Daniels, I think, finally getting frustrated with both fighting one, a blind man, and two, getting his ass fucking beat. Oh my god, big knee shot. Adrian's up. Oh god damn. Huge ass close line right there from Cave. Cave now getting Daniels into the corner. He hasn't set him up for a tree of woe. What's he setting up though? Oh God. Just fucking knee shot straight to the fucking, we got gut and kidneys, I don't know. Uh oh. And it looks like goes in for a big Superman punch. And CJ with a beautiful moonsault to Daniels, and right now, it's CJ looking to fucking put down Daniels. Oh, I think CJ wants more action from Justin. Oh, oh, and comes in with the shots, looking to punish Justin a little here. Daniels is back, but now it's a 2v1. Oh shit, dog, Justin just gets up immediately. That did nothing to Justin. Holy shit. I was going for a spinning elbow. Doesn't get it. Daniels now fighting on C. Jill. Daniels fighting on C. Jill. C. Jill immediately gets up. Oh, this is the rolling elbow, I guess. A rolling forearm. Oh, Daniels gets C. Jill up for a final shot. Here it is. One. Oh. Adrian breaks up the pin and now looks to take out his uncle. Daniels getting field right now. Goes in for, oh, his own moonsault. Doesn't get it. And now CJ looking to gain the upper hand. One, two. No, Daniels kicks out. Oh, what's CJ going for? CJ, oh my God. Big fucking punch straight to the skull of Daniels. And now tags in Adrian, but Adrian now looking to fight his uncle. And immediately, Justin catching Adrian. Uh oh, sends Adrian to the ropes, goes under, goes over. And now again, sweeps the leg. Man, I gotta, I gotta get props to Justin. He is showing that he fucking deserves to be here. Everyone was saying, ah, he should just retire. He fucking adapted and holy fuck. He a pro about it and I know, never. I was gonna say, we can talk about this all later, guys. Right now, Daniel's back in the mix. Cave, oh God. Not a big forearm. Daniels not taking it. Daniels, oh, he's trying to go for some springboard action. Adrian, though, oh, God, oh, God. Devastating exploder. Adrian taking a moment there, I guess, trying to see, maybe see or hear where Daniels is moving. Because that's the crazy thing. There's a lot of fucking noise in this arena. How the fuck does he know where he's going? Cool shit. 
right there. Oh wait, what's what the fuck's Cave going for? I think Cave is trying to go for sign, doesn't get it. I want to point out this bring out counts count. Count of eight. Cave barely breaking it. Daniels realizing that, oh, C. Jill is the bigger threat. Not taking him lightly, but now goes up. Oh, oh his own corkscrew. <laughs> what the fuck? Beautiful maneuver from Cave. Now, I also want to point out, I didn't know Morales did that shit before I told him it was an okay on that. Oh, shit. God damn, Cave, Cave practically fights a little dirty. God damn. Uh oh. CJL, probably looking to drop. Daniels, oh, there it is. Is that it? One, two, three. Father Sins picks up the win. Damn. And it looks like CJL and Adrian Cave are gonna be in the Bond match. Son of a bitch. Hey, you can't take nothing away from Justin though. Justin was like fighting his heart out, but nah, Daniels, Daniels was out of his league on that one. Holy shit. Cave was destroying him. CJL was destroying him. Justin was the only equalizer, but I don't think Justin just didn't want to fight that much. I'm not sure. So, I, I don't know what exactly happened there, but oh well. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to our main event of the night. So, as we said before, uh, Mox is hosting an open challenge here for literally anybody in PXT. So, tonight, we're going to see who is willing to take the challenge against Mox. Uh, question is... Is it going to be a new face or is it going to be an old face? We're about to find out. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, he is, he is a former tag, one half of tag team champions, former hardcore champion, but now possibly looks to be maybe future PXC world heavyweight champion. I already have a bot, we're good, but things do. Well, see, the bot in what's going is supposed to see if, be if more people joined. What? <laughs> we haven't been making Xbox posts because really we want to try getting uh, everybody in as much as possible because from my understanding, uh, it could be more cross-platformed on the community servers to where as long as, I believe they have a 2K account on what's it called, I think technically it can be made. I believe. I could be wrong on that, but we're gonna give her a shot on that. Well, also, I wanna point out, Me6 is the only free one. Those are the ones I believe you have to pay. I'm not sure. Like I said, VXC is run off of free shit. Lots, lots of, th actually, yeah, lots of free shit. <laughs> it looks like, who the fuck is this? The Great Knight. PXC Tag Team Championships or the World Tag Team Ta This is the PXC Tag Team Championships. Uh... Y'all know who the fuck I did this guy? I did. What do you mean I did? <laughs> oh, earlier today when I signed all those scat- Go. Oh, oh, uh, I should have read the fine print. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we introduce you to the Great Knight. Uh, looking to accept the challenge against Mox? Looks like Mox, uh... Oh, wait. Oh, Mox, I think not underestimating the Great Knight. 
Oh my god, well immediately! Oh god! <laughs> Looking to bring the fight straight to Mox and now proceeds to punch the living shit out of Mox. God damn. And bust him open. Okay. I think Mox needs to get his head in the game because right now it seems like PXC Superhero. And well, PXC Superhero is taking out the former PXC Hardcore Champion with fucking ease right now. Mox is the... I think, I think he's just thrown off. This is the first time I've seen Mox thrown off. Yeah, Mox is yet to throw out any type of offense. God damn, Mox, are you gonna do shit? Holy shit, there it is. Hey, Mox now, looking to come back at it. Working on the arm, but no. <laughs> the Great Knight, not holding anything back either. As Mox is the ropes. Oh, big elbow shot, okay. Genuinely surprised, what? <laughs> Mox kicks out. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I think Mox should have been more specific when he said open challenge literally to anyone. <laughs> and now the crew, Mox looking to get the upper hand back in the match. Oh god, big chop. So he's to hurt the leg of the Great Knight. Uh, I, I don't know. I have nothing on this man at all. But gets caught in a big exploder from Mox. And he rolls out. But Mox, oh, Mox not, no, Mox not done. Oh, they've got a gut shot. Big punch. And now Mox comes in with a pump handle suplex. Hey, that name has been taken by Morales. I feel like he's just a, I, I, I don't feel like he's a superhero though. <laughs> I feel like he's just a cat at this point. Uh, so sadly, uh, smooth. Jin has lost the TikTok championship to Satoshi Makoto in surprising fashion, by the way. How do I post stuff on Twitter? Great question. I have no idea. Um, um, right now, the site going completely crazy right now. The Great Knight really surprised, I think, shocking the world by giving a fight straight to Mox. Then Sim to the ropes. Oh, Mox, mi Mox missing both of those shots. Oh, but catches him in a big jumping catch move. I don't know, but now I think Mox finally getting frustrated. And this is the person that he's fighting in the main event. In all honesty, I don't blame him. Mox gets the Great Knight up, but the Great Knight not holding anything back. Great Knight fighting his own. Now goes in with his own spring one off and catches him with a big moonsault. Oh, looks like he's ready to go. Great Knight looking to put down Mox once and for all. Oh! Guess Holy Knight, I don't know what to call that. Mox kicks out. <laughs> the Great Knight shocking the world right now. It was like Mox. Oh, again, I believe Mox is finally getting frustrated here. Mox looking. The game, the upper hand. Oh, big shot into him. Bulldog. Mox. Game situated. The great night, though. Coming in. But Mox, though, with a rebound. Clothesline. Looking to put down the Great Knight. One, two, three, and the Great Knight's down to that. God damn, even my Mox is just, I get a little upset, wait. Oh, hello. It's the PXC World Heavyweight Champion. This is the first time I think we're seeing him with the championship, actually. Mox only gonna face it face to face, face it accepting the challenge. <laughs> Basic saying, you're gonna have to do everything you can to claim that bitch from me, motherfucker. Mason Dixon. Wait, it's hat. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? 
This is, okay, the news is wrong. It says Mason Dixon, Mason Dixon attacked Mox from behind after leaving him open for the distraction. These actions just go to show how much... It's a, what? That's not even what happened. What are we talking about? It's called the Shining Armor Slam. Sass. <laughs> I was gonna call it Sass. The Sass is funny. <laughs> Holy shit. I just found out how to post stuff on Twitter. It's Xer. No, I'm joking. So, ladies and gentlemen, goddamn, tonight has been a fucking... Tonight's been a long one, hasn't it? Yes, it fucking has. It's been a while since we've had a long PXT, goddamn, because even the last two episodes were, like, as long as what today was. But now, just to confirm to everybody, who are the teams that are competing in the Bond match? That is right. It is... The team of Zero, Bill Cassidy, the team of Anthony Morales and Electro, the team of Jason Castle and Johnny Tugaloa, and the final team being C. Jill and Adrian Cave, which also want to point out, technically, I, I technically get my dream match. Yay. <laughs> yes, I know. I'm a sissy when it comes to my dream matches. I want to see Electro Pro one to with C. Jill. I need to see it, damn it. <laughs> I need to know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I, gen I am generally excited for that. But now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there is one other thing that uh, we are going to be doing with the big shows literally a week prior. Uh, we're going to be unveiling the going to be unveiling the overlays for it, which uh, pretty much is like what is behind me. This is the whole like PXD one. Um, then like operation was like this flare shit. Did it with like all of them. So with that said, uh, also want to let you guys know that on every big show and soon here on PXT, um, all these guys are going to have their own like music now to where uh, they're going to be like having their own official songs, in other words. And uh, this one is going to be for Bond. No, it's not anything big. It's just displaying Bond's thing. And that, 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 is, that is all this one is. We haven't worked on it more. Uh, this was just brought together in a couple seconds because, like I said, uh, recently it, it has been hard for me to edit. Uh, today I was supposed to upload both 31 and 32, which those were hard to get through. Um, but, but they are ready. I'm going to be uploading them literally after this. With that said though, uh, here are the overlay reveals for EXT's 